We are at Caesarea. Caesarea is an ancient city. Um, many years before the time of King Herod. Um, but today it's a very modern city. It's actually a big village. A very expensive one. I think it's one of the richest places in Israel. Uh, our late Prime Minister Bibi Netanyahu has got a mansion here. And we're talking about mansions. The whole city is, is there. I don't know if you can see far, far away the port, the modern port for the electricity power station. Just before it, it's the Roman city. Then we are far from the Roman city. At the Byzantine time, it means that from the 5th century until the 7th century, the city got bigger and bigger and bigger. Then we are, let's say, um, seven minutes drive um, from the old city. Then you can understand that it's quite far and quite big. And why I'm sitting here? First of all, there's lots of shade and the pine smell is amazing. But I'm sitting here because of a beautiful villa from the end of the 6th century, the beginning of the 7th century, uh, with beautiful uh, mosaic. Uh, we call it the bird's mosaic, and you will see soon why. Then let me just walk into it, but let me tell you that they found it at the 1950 in an army drill, but they cover it, and before that someone um, actually looked at it, one of the archaeological, uh, it didn't dig, but he just looked at it, and because of a small haps, he decided that that was a Byzantine church. Later on, we discover that it's not, and the excavation started from uh, at uh, 2004, and the idea was to cover it again. But after they found it, they realized that it's such a beautiful mosaic, one of the most beautiful mosaics uh, in Israel, and they kept it like that with the promise of their rich area of Caesarea to maintain it. Um, they, was, uh, they were afraid because, as you can see, it's nowhere. And uh, if someone really wants, he can steal it. And thanks God, until now, it's not. It was a very rich Christian family that lived here and it had been destroyed when the Arabs, the Muslims, entered to Israel around 640 AD. Um, it's such a beautiful uh, place. And what we see here is only a small part of it, really a small part of it. Uh, we actually activate the mosaic because that was the most important part. And let me show you where the mosaic is. Um, here it is. That's the only thing. And there's so many other uh, rooms. It's like um, uh, the entrance, the lobby. Then, even from here, you can see that the music is amazing. Uh, quality, small stones, uh, so many colors, and so many patterns. I mean, it's really, I, mean, I want, to, I want to, uh, the sun to hide it from you. But I think like here, like that, you will be able to see too. And now we're entering to kind of the open lobby. And look at the firm. Amazing, isn't it? There's so many kind of fruit trees and animals. Oh, it's so breezy here because it's in the small, top of a small hill. Then you can see the trying to hide from the shade. You can see some fruits and elephant. Looks like a tiger, deer, is it horse or donkey and a bear. Goat, something with four legs. It looks like a boar. Lion. Another tiger or something like that. Or maybe that's a tiger. It looks like a dog. Donkey. Beautiful, isn't it? You can see that we're talking about rich, rich family. And the apps, I think the apps was there, was here somewhere. 
then that's why they thought that it's a, it's a church. It was two stories building. We found uh, some mosaic floor like that, that were from the, maybe from the upper part, from the roof, from there. And it was burned down, the wood was burned down. And that's why we could find uh, some items from there. In that area, it was a water system. And uh, it's actually um, the water, rainwater that came from all of the parts of the houses went into the water system. And uh, before we will enter to the birds, section i mean this is the reason it's called the uh, birdhouse the palace uh or villa whatever you want uh we found somewhere here one of the most unique tables ever made of gold and glass it was like a sandwich of gold um, and then glass as the bread in two sides. Um, it was at the, as we believe, at the first floor, but the second floor covered it when it uh, been destroyed. Uh, the wooden legs uh, disappear. It looks like, um, if I remember, it's in the shape of the letter D. And you can find it in Musa Museum in Tel Aviv. Um, when I saw it for the first time, I said to myself, not only it's beautiful, it looks like such a modern art and I just read that it's um, unique. Now the entrance is from there. Not because I found here the mosaic, uh, mainly because look at the birds. They're looking at you. It's something like 120 different birds. I hope that you can see something mainly because um, uh, the sun, uh, the location of the sun doesn't le let me see if I'm taking a video or not, or if you can see it or not, but I'm sure that you can. Unbelievable, isn't it? That shows you that if you will excavate everywhere here, we will find evidence from the past. Oh, the smell of the pine. Look at the sky. This is the third part of a video that I prepared on uh, ancient Caesarea. I might um, edit all those movies into one, but it's going to be a very long one, or upload it as it is. Unbelievable, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Look at the colors. Guys, it's from the end of the 6th century. Like a million years ago. Looks like they made it yesterday. We are talking about artists. We are talking about people who knew what to respect art. Beautiful, isn't it? Let's make a round tour around it. And we will say goodbye. The next stop... Oh, the next video will be about the aqueducts that brought water from the Car Mount Carmel area to, uh, uh, to the city. What we did is only that part. And the uh, table, let me see. No, I don't see. They didn't mention where the table was found. Ah, yes, in the fifth, here, which is there. Beautiful Caesarea. Uh, I started the tour at 9 a.m. It's now 1 o'clock, uh, 1 p.m. Then you can understand that you can see visit Caesarea in 40 minutes if you don't have time. Uh, but you can do that in one or two days. Such an amazing thing, isn't it? You can see that it's cover something.
mosaic, the bird's mosaic, that's how it's called. What a nice breeze! It's 30 degrees now around Nahi, uh, but because it's high place, it's uh, it's quite um, quite nice. Um, if you want to, I, I will I will actually add some uh, information about that mosaic in the description of that video. But there you can find a few more things. The first one will be my uh, Facebook account, my um, Instagram, which I will be more than happy if you will join them. Um, if you didn't subscribe my channel, please do that and push the button, push the bell, then you will get the latest videos from me. And on the way to the car, look at the beautiful there, see, so blue, so amazing. The way to the car, if you like those videos and you want to support me, I will be more than happy. Uh, a few years ago, a few, sorry, a few weeks ago, uh, or months ago, someone from you asked me to do that. Um, I didn't like the idea because I felt like I'm a beggar and I'm doing it because I like to do that. But then, because of the support that they gave me, I can actually rent some cars like I did today and travel around Israel and show you more of uh, Israel. You don't need to do that, but you can. And it's called Buy Me a Coffee. And there you can ask me, for example, to light a candle for you or to write a note at the Western Wall or something like that. Um, that's the best option. I mean, you can do that in other um, via YouTube, but if you want me uh, to pray for you, it will be easier for me to look at the list through buy me a coffee. I'm doing it once in two weeks, usually in Jerusalem. Then see you in my next video. That's going to be about the aqueduct of, uh, of uh, Caesarea. And you can see a picture of it. See you. Bye-bye.